Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the EC2 instance lifecycle, so let's start. So I've got a quick diagram just to show you uh, what are the various lifecycle states. And essentially you select an AMI and then you define the launch configuration and you launch your instance. So the first state is the launch state. And from the launch state it starts coming up and uh, it comes into the running state where you have an IP and you can hook onto your machine. This is also where AWS will start billing you for your uh, instance. So it will bill you for the partial hour or the full hours that you've um, been using your machine. Even if your machine is idle, it doesn't matter. As long as it's in the running state, you will uh, receive uh, a bill. So make sure that you do not leave your instance in a running state if you're not using it. Um, from a running state, you can either go into a rebooting state or you can uh, go from running to stopping and then stopped. Now you can only reboot, uh, so you cannot, so if, so now in this case, you've, it's very important to distinguish between the volume. So you, when you set up an instance, there are two types of instances. One is EC2 instance store backed and the other one is EBS backed instance. Uh, EC2 instance uh, is use, use an ephemeral storage. Um, so you can only reboot it, but you can re um, you can stop and uh, restart an EBS backed instance. Rebooting an instance will not change the IP, but when you stop an instance uh, and then you reboot it, it can st it starts on a different underlying hardware, so the underlying IP changes. Uh, so if if you try to reconnect to the same instance, you need to grab the public IP again and then connect. From the running state, you can again also go into the shutting down state where you just shut it down and the machine sits there, which is similar to the stopping and the stopped state where it is um, again uh, sitting there. So you can reboot that from an EBS backed instance, but if it is an EC2 instance store backed, it, it goes from shutting down and from shutting down, it goes into terminated. And why that happens is that all EC2 instance store backed uh, instances start from a template. And when you uh, shut down, that template is gone. So in the next time you you cannot reboot that instance. So all your data is lost. But with an EBS backed instance, you, there is a setting where you can say do not delete on uh, shutdown, or you can enable a termination protection on your EBS backed volume, and that is available to you if you've used, or if you've made any changes, and then you can use that snapshot for other AMIs going forward. So this is just a quick overview of the EC2 uh, lifecycle. I hope you find this video, uh, this bit useful. I've also got a very interesting uh, link that I'd like you to go if you're keen on reading or uh, getting into more details, which is instance lifecycle. So I'll leave a link to this in the video notes so you can download this. Sorry, you can click on this link and go through this. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please do let me know if you'd like me to take any specific topic. Do let me know uh, um, if, if you've got anything in your mind. Uh, cheers.